M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Both on UV5R, the tri-band model, so it does get 220 megahertz receive and transmit. Now, you may have an older model that can do 220 megahertz, but you might have to open it up. The way you do that is you hold down the button beneath the PTT, the PTT, and this orange button while turning the radio on it will factory reset and that will unlock the TX on 220 megs if you're in the USA but check your license to make sure that's okay you're going to need a programming cable to use any software which looks like this they're about five pound on Amazon and we've got some software here so this is the Bofeng software I found on the right hand side you can see that you can get the chirp software I have noticed regardless of the software that you use you cannot program 220 megahertz memory channels which is interesting so to read the radio you just you just go once you've connected your cable and it will prompt you to do that so click communication I'm com 9 if we right click device manager double click com ports look com 9 there USB serial once the cables plugged in so com 9 here confirm and then when you now read, if you hover over these two little blue squares, read, it's going to read from the radio, which is, of course, connected and turned on. Quite quick at reading. And then we'll look at what this software does. So that's OK. That's red. We can just cancel that out. out. Edit at the top here. Edit, channel. And I've got some channels here. And you literally just choose your band type in your frequency if we go 434.550 that's my hub net node it does see that the way I click the next one across you can choose your CTCSS 77 power bandwidth you know wide or narrow we can actually name it as well hub net like so let's do another one uh, one four five dot seven five zero one four five dot one five zero get that one in there oh, I've got too many in there one four five dot one five zero click across tone There you go, and that's for, now you want ENCODE actually to transmit, so you don't really need, I would say, the, the decode. You can leave them off, but you do want, you know, it depends where you what repeater you're using, but generally we don't use, I don't see them used that often. 94.8, 77 on my node, and on my repeater it's 94.8 so I'm going too fast here yeah. like so same goes for that one now if you're on 70 sems you'll have a different shift so go 430.825 and then I think it's 434 Dot five two five GB three. Um, I think now I think that's ZB. Is it ZB or FI? Let's just put FI for now. So that's how you do it, and then you can write that to the radio. Let's look at the settings. Close that window down. If you go edit, optional. Now this software doesn't, as far as I can see, doesn't allow you to change the frequency range of your radio. So this one only says that 130 to 180 megs, but it will go to 220 because I've already tested that. I told you about the unlock way. Otherwise you can change the light, orange, blue, purple. If you want to see the channel name on the left here, channel name. What else we got here? Probably... Yeah, some, I'm not sure what we'd use that for. Power, band. So that's the default band when, when you turn it on, look. VHF on the A band and UHF on the B band. FM radio enabled, 
alarm sound, Roger. TX under TDR star, what's that? Power on display. Pass. Pass repeat noise. If I have a little play. You can, you know, most use chirp, but I'm going to put the links in so if you want, you can have a go with the Bofeng software. What's this? Open. So you can save, then so you go file, save, save that somewhere. I'm not sure why it's doing that. So file, save as. Well, I've said I've selected save. Let's try these little windows. Programming files, save it onto my C. Oh, I know what, we can put it there. Store the file name is Nullity. Ain't got a clue why it's doing that. Someone let me know. Um, and uh, DTMF, it does work on DTMF, I noticed it did. So the link's in the description, have a little play. Bye for now, 7-3.